All right, now let's go ahead and check some new features that has been added to Link Wizard version two. And I'm going to take you through rotating link. We click on rotating link, and then I'm just going to click on the plus sign in order to have a few more URLs added. My first URL is going to be Facebook. My second URL, I'm going to put it as YouTube. And my third URL, I'm going to put it as Google. Now that I've already taken you through all these options that's available out here, I'm not going to go through all this all over again. I'm just going to go ahead and click on create rotating link. Once I do that, it's going to redirect me to the dashboard. And once I'm on the dashboard, I'm going to copy this link I'm going to open a new browser and I'm going to go this is my first user and this is my second user so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and paste the link that was just created under rotating classic and you see it has redirected me to the first link that I had put out there the first URL which was Facebook now I come to the second user and I'm going to put this link out here it's going to go ahead and redirect me to YouTube. Now, when I come back to the first user, I'm going to click on a new tab and I'm going to paste it here. So it takes me to the third URL that was created, which would be Google. Now, when I come back to the second user and I open a new tab and I paste the same URL, Guess what? It's going to take me back to my Facebook because I have already completed the circle of all three URLs that was added under Rotating Classic. My first was Facebook, the second URL entered was YouTube, and the third URL enter was Google. Now, if I come back to this first user, if I open a fresh tab and I paste the URL that was given to me while creating rotating link, it's going to take me to the second URL that is YouTube. Now, when I come back to the second user and if I put this URL out here in a new tab, it's going to take me back to Google. And once again, if I come back to the first user out here mm -hmm. and if I'm going to go ahead and paste the same URL out here, it's going to go ahead and redirect me to Facebook. Why? Because I've already completed the circle of the first URL, second URL, and third URL. So out here, my third URL was completed by pasting the URL that was given to me through rotating link that I had just created. Google was completed out here. So when I go back to the first user, since the second user has already completed all three, the first user will get back to the first URL that is Facebook. And that is all about rotating classic. Now let's go ahead and check how the rotating sticky works. So what I'm going to do before that, I'm just going to cross off these that has just been created. Yes, close all tabs. I'm going to go ahead and close this one as well. And now again, I'm going to go ahead and add a few URLs. So let's go ahead and put the first one as Facebook. My second URL is going to be same what I put in the first one, YouTube. And my third is going to be google.com. And I'm going to go ahead and click rotating link that would be for rotating sticky. I would be redirected to the dashboard. I'm going to copy this, open new browser, my first user. I'm going to call in my second user. And I'm going to go ahead and put this link out here and click on enter. Once I click on go, it takes me to the first URL that would be Facebook. Once I come to the second user and if I paste this URL, 
this user is going to go ahead and get YouTube. Then I come back to my th uh, first user and I'm going to paste the same link out here. Now, this first user of mine is going to go back to Facebook. Why? Because it's sticky, rotating sticky. So this user sticks to one particular link unless and until he goes ahead and works on a different browser altogether. Now, when I come to this third user, and if I click here, he's going to stick to the second URL, that is YouTube, unless and until I go ahead and I open a new browser. Let me just minimize this so that you can understand a little better. So this is my third user. I paste this. My third user would go back to Google. And if my third user wants to go ahead and open a new tab out here and click on that, my third user will be stuck to Google because this is rotating sticky. And this is how rotating sticky works. So guys, we just finished rotating sticky. That is a new feature that has been added. Now let's go ahead and check rotating sticky overflow. We click on rotating sticky overflow and I'm going to go ahead and add the same URL for Facebook. YouTube. When you come to the third one, put Google out here. And now I would need to come and enter the overflow URL. So I want the overflow URL to be something like LinkedIn.com. I will go ahead and create rotating link for rotating sticky overflow. Once I do that, I come back to this dashboard. I click on this. I open a new browser. This is for my first user. This is my second user. And I'm going to come back to my third user. So my first user copy paste the link that has just been given while we were creating rotating sticky overflow clicks on go. So this user comes to Facebook, which was the first URL that was given my second user. If I copy paste this link on my second user's browser, my second user is going to come to YouTube. My third user out here will be getting Google. Now I come back to my first user and I copy paste the link. So this user of mine will come back to YouTube, which is the second link that we had given. Now, unless and until this user of mine completes the entire circle of all three URLs that has been given, he will not be redirected to the overflow link. Now, if I show you for this particular user itself, he has already completed the first URL, the second URL. Now he puts the third. So it will take him to Google. And now if I say that he's going to click, he's going to paste the URL all over again on a different uh, tab, he will be taken to the overflow link that is LinkedIn. And again, if he goes ahead and if he paste this out here, this user will be stuck with the overflow. Now, how about the second user? Let's go ahead and check that. Now, when I put this for the second user, since the second user had applied the link out here, he got YouTube and the third, again, if he opens a tab, he puts the link, he gets redirected to Google. Now, once again, if this user go ahead, goes ahead and put this link out here, 
he will be taken to Facebook, which is the first URL that was given. Now, why has he take why has this URL taken him to the first link, the Facebook that we had mentioned out there? It's because he did not complete the entire circle. Now, the fourth time, if he tries to put this, it's going to take him to the overflow URL. And again, if he adds, once again, he will be stuck with this overflow URL. And similarly, it's going to be the same for my third user as well. So this is all about rotating sticky and the options that's there, the two new features that has been added under rotating sticky. Rotating classic, I just explained, rotating sticky and rotating sticky overflow. Now this is all about creating rotating link. Thank you. I will explain to you about the other features in my different videos.